Madam Speaker, I rise today in opposition to H.J. Res. 79, and of course I believe in equal rights. Women should never face discrimination and harassment. I believe we should be empowering women and girls to achieve their dreams. So it's disappointing today to stand in this chamber and see this important issue turned into some type of political stunt. The deadline for states to ratify the ERA passed nearly four decades ago. Even Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg has stated the only path forward is to start over. So let's be honest. This is not about equality or women's rights. This is about enshrining unrestricted abortion in the Constitution and allowing full taxpayer funding for abortion. Now is not the time to be weakening pro-life protections. Yesterday in South Bend, Indiana, in my district, the remains of 2,411 victims of abortion were finally given a dignified burial. After spending 20 years in moldy styrofoam boxes in the back of a, the doctor abortionist himself, in the back of his car and in his basement, these unborn boys and girls would be young men and women today entering college. Moments ago, we stood on this House floor together and we offered a moment of silence that these innocent lives were taken and there were victims, over 2,400. I would ask that to together we stand again to defend the rights of the most vulnerable among us. That we stand together today for the sanctity of life, to lift women up, to protect women, and to strengthen families. I urge my colleagues to join me in voting against this misguided resolution.